do. You're going to love this. Because you're kind of, you're a stats guy. Sure. I mean, you're a math guy. You like math. Yeah, I okay. do. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So what is the problem right now that we're facing in, uh, in the Senate? What are the Democrats trying to do? Well, they they were very worried about the uh, debt ceiling. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, They're not getting that one yeah. hiked up. Yeah, though it yeah. seems like they might have solved that one, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully mm-hmm. with Mitch McConnell's help, mm-hmm. which is weird. Hmm. Oh well, we can count on the GOP every time, but this time. Um, all right. So they had the debt limit, uh, the debt ceiling. You you can't spend any more money. That's going to put us into bankruptcy. But the other reason why they need that ceiling raised is because they need to spend another $5 trillion. Well, nobody's lending us any money, all right? So we just had to print it. I'm sorry, not printing it. We're digitizing it, which is completely different than printing it. Saves lots of paper. And ink. Mm -hmm. And ink. So the cost goes down. All right, so... They are really concerned about what are we going to do? How are we going to make sure we have the money we need? So here's the idea. What if, Mm -hmm. what if the Treasury Department minted a platinum coin and put on the platinum coin $1 trillion dollars? Then they deposited that $1 trillion platinum coin and used it to pay bills without taking out any new debt. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot holes in that one. uh, Okay. No, I I don't know that I can. First of all. Right. You can't. Dean Baker, left-leaning economist, he's like... (sighs) Due to a technicality in the law, the Treasury Department can print that platinum coin and assign a huge value to it, let's say a trillion dollars, and sell it to the Federal Reserve Board. And this would get around the need to borrow. And Zachary Carter with the Washington Post, Paul Paul Krugman has endorsed the idea. Uh, Rashida Tlaib and Jerry Nadler love that idea. Mm, I'm shocked at this collection of people. It is a very surprising. I am too. So, like, basically... Mm -hmm. The idea would be yes. to take, I, I guess the substance isn't important uh, as it oh, represents no, it's the gotta, idea. It's it, got to be very expensive. It is It lab. is important, my understanding is, it has to be a coin. It does legitimately have to be a coin. Mm-hmm. But let's just say it wasn't a coin and instead it was a check, mm-hmm. right? So if I'm uh-huh. a a homeowner and I've got a bunch of bills and I, I guess I could just write a check for a, and deposit it into, into the, your account, account and then right. you pay the bills. And then you just write other checks. Right. Just keep, yeah. I, there was a, mm-hmm. there was a documentary on this. Uh, catch mm-hmm. me if you can. Um, yeah. It was called. <laughs> and really? Yeah. Is that, so that didn't work out that time, but they didn't have the right to print a coin. Right. That's this true. is a coin. This is a coin. By the way, the government wants you to know there is no intrinsic value on Bitcoin. Okay, Hmm. there's no real substance behind Bitcoin. Yeah, and and the Biden administration currently trying to create a Mm -hmm. uh, multiple dozens of countries to try to come together to go after Bitcoin and all those illegal activities that are associated with it. That that is that's a that's a sham. That is there there's there's it's very dangerous to do things like that. Anyway, back to this one trillion (laughs) dollar. Platinum coin. <laughs> it is absolutely unbelievable they're taking this seriously. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Y- there are a lot of people on the left that are saying, yep, go for it. Do it. Do it. Now, th- why not? Yeah. Nobody's had to pay for any. There's no ramifications well, for anything anymore. But like if, you, if you have a debt ceiling, the, the issue with a debt ceiling. Yeah. Now, again, as we talked to Stephen Moore just the other day, uh-huh, the guy who's uh-huh. advised presidents of the yeah, United yeah, States. Sure. We don't just default on the money when this date comes. We would have to prioritize our spending. And constitutionally, the number one priority is paying our debts. So, yeah. like, it would be the legitimately the last thing to go after, like, the military. Right. So we're not going to default. Let's just pay it, though, with a coin. Right. So the concept, I'm sure though, China would be fine with that. Why would it be bad mm-hmm. if we didn't pay our bills? Why would it be bad? I mean, people have been late on payments before. You know, your life doesn't collapse, right? No, why would it be bad? It would be bad because 
the faith and credit of the United <laughs> States, the full faith and credit of the United States okay, is something that, that is in our founding documents. No, so it's it is there. central to our country's yes, foundation. Yes. Okay. Right. And because, now I know you don't believe this, but people who buy treasury bonds yeah. do believe this and who's is buy, wait, wait, legitimately. Who's buying treasury bonds right now? Well, lots of people are buying them. Uh, uh, not, really? Not, are they? Countries? Uh, the Fed is buying yeah, a lot of them. The Fed right is buying point. almost all of them. But like in uh, in investment uh, profiles, uh-huh. it uh-huh. is literally listed as a zero risk transaction zero. to buy a U.S. Treasury bill. Now, yeah. it's not a zero risk transaction, but that's how they consider it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't think back to 2008 when no, I say no, that. No, don't. I'm, don't. I'm not thinking not 2008. a good reference. Get your head I'm out of 2008. No, 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 I'm not. I'm okay. not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm or not. the 30s. Don't go back I'm to the not, 30s. I'm not afraid. I'm okay. not afraid. Okay. But the point is that it is important. Our economy would have massive troubles if we defaulted and the reason is that no one would buy that we were going to pay our bills that would be a huge issue that's just basically people making a judgment right they're saying wait a minute this this is not stable this is not zero risk it's a real risk if we started printing trillion or minting trillion dollar coins this is platinum not paper people aren't so dumb that they would think oh well they're doing well they got the trillion dollar coins. They can print them whenever they want. They would have the same reaction as if we defaulted. They would say, wait a minute. No. We're not going to no. get our money back. They're obviously no. unstable. No. You don't it understand. Even wait work, a minute. Wait. Even a minute. though it is a Ponzi scheme. Wait a minute. You, you don't, you're forgetting that the office of the comptroller of the currency yes. is going to be this new uh soviet born soviet trained economic uh professor um she got her scholarship it was the the vladimir lenin scholarship for economics uh and um you know and she just says that she wants to let me see if i can find the quote here's the quote end banking as we know it uh, and so we'd get rid of all of the banks, especially the local ones, and we would just have the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve would be the one that was holding the trillion-dollar coin. I don't understand your problem. By the way, um, uh, she um, uh, refused to provide a copy of her, uh, of her thesis um, on uh, Karl Marx's economic analysis and theory of revolution Um, it was on her resume and it was a big paper that she wrote. It was, you know, kind of a big deal. Um, she's not providing it to the Senate. Um, and, uh, what's weird, neither is the treasury. Treasury won't, won't produce that document either. Um, but I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. Now let's talk about inflation, which is just transitory. Okay. Stop your whining. Yes. It's costing you $175 a month. But we're not going to tax people. We are not going to tax people. So does the inflation who, only hit people who earn four hundred thousand dollars or more? No, it's not a tax, Stu. It's not a tax. It's not a tax. Five dollars a month. Just because they're printing too much money and mm-hmm. uh, and they're doing things like keeping people out of jobs by paying them to stay mm. out of jobs. That's making prices go up. But that's the damn those capitalists. I mean, Saki even said. It's crazy that these businesses might pass on the costs of their taxes to you. It's crazy, Stu. Mm, that's, okay. that's what it is. So it's $175 a month currently. So you know, we're looking uh, at the, some economists, not Paul Krugman, not the sane ones. Uh, some economists are disagreeing with the Fed, and they're saying that, hmm, Over the next three years, you could see a 35% loss of the value of your money. Uh, There could be like 35% inflation. Just the 35%. But just the 35%. And there's nothing to worry about here. Gas prices, yes, they're at a seven-year high. Um, But the good news is we're spreading that pain all across. I mean, for instance, uh, natural gas, only up 25%. No. Only up 25%. (laughs) That's nothing. Yeah, right. Uh, And, uh, you know, the key construction costs, still off the charts. But now, 
you now you can't even really get an answer from when that will be in supply again. Mm. Okay, so they're no they're no longer they're just saying it's transitory. Now wait, you, you say that we we can't get construction supplies. You almost mm-hmm. seem as if. When you said that, you had personal experience with it. I mean, the way your eye twitched no. right when you no. right when you started talking no. about construction supplies not coming in, it no. almost seemed personal I, to you. No, I was just talking to uh, I was just talking to one of the contractors. Oh, okay. Um, who's just trying to finish the driveway? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and uh, and uh, I said I thought we were pouring concrete today, and he was like, Oh no, 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 we no. can't get the concrete. Oh, no. Gosh, no. Oh, my heavens, we can't no. get the concrete right now. And I said, oh, <laughs> when are you? And he looks it up on his phone. And he's going through his calendar. And he said, oh, it, two weeks. So Two weeks. That's perfect. Two that's weeks. not bad. You, two, weeks. two weeks is, is tolerable. Two weeks. I don't think he was in on the joke. No. Because uh, <laughs> I looked at my wife and I said, wow, who would have guessed? Two weeks. <laughs> it's Who that perfect time period. It's not tomorrow. No, it's not tomorrow. But it's not too far away. You no. can handle it. Yeah, it's just a two couple of weeks. weeks. No just big deal. Two weeks away. Mm-hmm. So we got that going for us. <laughs> now, here's some good news. Biden's approval uh, approval rating is down to thirty eight percent. It's not like golf. Okay, high score wins. High score wins. Um, he was, uh, he was at, uh, what was it? 51% low to mid fifties, low to mid fifties. And then he started doing things and ending wars and, uh, you know, working on the economy and, uh, and fixing that whole COVID thing. He's, he's got a vaccination for COVID. I'll tell you that. We're not going to close down the economy. Quote, we're going to close down COVID. Not working so well. Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen or, uh, you know, heard anything mainly at the gas pump. But he is down to 38% approval. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. We have Turtle Face. Uh, What's his name? Uh, Mitch McConnell. He's fantastic. And... It, even though the president has 38% approval rating, can't get anything done, Mitch McConnell will be there to make sure that that Biden administration is not left alone to sink on its own weight. He's a turtle. He's used to being underwater. Uh, and and I, I think that's great. I think that's great. 